Hi guys, Jason here from Nathaniel School of Music. Let's learn Kingston Town by UB40. So the entire song is sort of, actually not sort of, it's very much a reggae, standard reggae groove and it's on A flat major. So before I take you through the chords of each section of the song like I normally do, Let's just look at the pattern first which you can play if you're a pianist and if you're a non-pianist also you can look at the pattern shape. So I'm just going to take the root chord A flat major right and basically the pattern is you need to engage with your left hand and then the right hand. So it's just left and right hand interchanged. So let's see how the pattern works. I'll play it and then I'll slow it down and break it down. So if you're counting eighth notes, which is one and two and three and four and where eighth notes are essentially dividing the beat into two, right? So one and two and you take all the eighth notes and play them in the right hand and you take all the all the on beat notes and play them in the left hand. On beat basically meaning one, two, three, four. So the idea is it'll be one and two and three and four and. So all the ands are going to be played in the right hand. One and two and three and four and. And in the left hand, what we normally will do for a reggae pattern is you can play it at the one as well as the three. You can ignore the two in the left hand. One and two and three. And just for variety, you can do one at the root of the chord. You can do three at the fifth of the chord. Let's see how that works. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one. And what you'd also want in the right hand is to play it very staccato, right? Or if you're on a guitar, you'll have to like mute it really fast. So let's see how that sounds. And if you want, you can also add this ghost note, what we call as ghost notes, where you play the fifth, one E and a two E, one and two E and a three E and a four E and. So essentially, instead of counting eighth notes, you guys then need to count sixteenth notes, one E and a, uh, or one E. You know, you're playing these offbeat 16 notes. So where am I playing this ghost note? I think it's at the E of the two. E and the two E. Yeah, it's at the E of the two, right? One E and the two. See, you don't have to get this if you're, you know, newer to the piano. But if you practice to a point where the other pattern I taught you was easy, then you can just focus on the on, on adding to the... Uh, to what you learnt earlier and the ghost note is basically the fifth of each chord so the fifth of A flat is E flat and another thing to note is in my left hand I don't play anything other than the root of the chord and the fifth of the chord if it's a ghost note or if it's at beat number three however in the right hand we can use all the respective inversions so that your hand is close by and you don't have to regularly swap. So for example, if I take you through the intro section. And so on. Right, so try to use inversions and either you play the chord as a triad, you can make it sound bigger by just copying the bottom note to the top. So if you take A flat major, which I prefer starting like this, C, E flat and A flat, I can add the C as well to make it thicker. 
and remember to play it staccato so let's just go through each section of the song um anyway the chord chart is there for you guys to check download and access but anyway so if you take the verse it's a flat c minor d flat major e flat major d flat major e flat major a flat major and e flat major right so that's line 1 and then line 2 will repeat the exact same thing and then you end on a flat major a flat major so let me just take you through the whole thing and while i play i'll count count out the chords so that starting with a flat let's take it slightly slowly a flat na 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 c minor na 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 d flat na 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 e flat na 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 d flat na 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 e flat na 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 a flat and e flat and then you repeat the same line na 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 da da de da d flat na 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 stay on a flat So that's the second line where you stay on A flat, and then where we we go to a bridge, where or a pre-chorus if you will, where he sings Kingston Town, and uh, you change the chords to C minor, which I have pointed out here. So that's C minor, F minor, G minor, C minor, F minor, and then an interesting bass drop or an interesting bass slide, which I'm going to do. That's where your bass will change in the left hand. and then b flat minor b flat major it's a very interesting section e flat major e flat major so let's look at the pre chorus c minor down f minor c minor na 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 so that's quite interesting right he goes f minor in the right hand throughout in the right hand you're going to be doing f minor so you go f minor with f bass and then you do f minor with e bass f minor e e flat d okay that's the entire progression here you can even do it in the octave in the left hand f e e flat d So he sings something like na 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 na, and then B flat minor, B flat major, E flat major, and then we go back to the verse, right? Na 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 na, and so on. right and it's probably a little faster no i think i'm playing it pretty much at the same speed and uh, in conclusion so basically you have the verse part you have the bridge part or the pre chorus part and then you have um, an intro section where you have the tune and then you have a bridge where that same tune repeats and then at the end of the song we just go we just repeat that phrase waiting in kingston town so i'll be waiting in kingston town oh and repeats i'll wait in So that's what I've written down here: D flat, E flat, A flat, F. So these four chords you need to play at the end. So let's conclude with that catchy tune, which happens pretty much throughout the song, and the tune is sort of the singing line of the vocalist. So it's very easy to remember, and I'm sure you all would have heard it, and it's quite catchy, right? So this is how the tune goes. Let's look at it. Okay so So you basically do the chords in the left hand let me first show you without the chords So 
so you can try this out this is your left hand pattern and then the tune coming in right and if you can't do both hands you can probably just do it with one hand um, until you get comfortable or you can just hold the chord and the chords are a flat c minor d flat major and e flat major the intro as well as the bridge where the same tune repeats so it's pretty much the singing line so i've written down the song on a flat major which is actually a little tricky scale well not tricky it's just a seldomly used scale so if you need to do it on a major or d major all you have to do is rewrite the scale and rewrite the chords transpose the chords on whichever scale you want you can watch one of my lessons on preparing the chords for a song so that talks about transposition using inversions and so on and so forth right so all the best playing this song cheers